What is up you guys, my name is Selena and today's gonna be a new tutorial showing you guys how to create these animated arrows in After Effects. This was inspired by Cameron Ehrman in his Live Now 3 video. So let's get started with the tutorial. So I have my clip right here and it's basically me penny boarding but it's on a tripod but I'm actually not gonna be working with this clip right now anyways. So I'm just gonna turn the eye off on this and we're just gonna create the arrows for now. So we're just gonna go to the top and press that T to make a new text layer, and we're just gonna make an X. So press X on your keyboard, and you want it like a capital X, and you can mess around with the fonts. I'm using the next font, and I actually downloaded this from the internet, but you can also use other fonts that are already existing, like you can use Arial. Now what we're gonna do is use a pen tool, and then we're just gonna outline one side of the X. So just follow exactly what I'm doing, but you wanna make sure that the edges are smooth, and you can see that I'm just trying to make it's so that we have a nice looking arrow. So I don't know, really know how to describe it, but you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay, so once you created your little half X, we're gonna go ahead and animate this. So we want it to be flashing. So what we're gonna do is press T on our keyboard for opacity. And then at the beginning of the clip, we're gonna keep it at zero and then press the keyframe button. And okay, and then I'm gonna go to 10 frames and then I'm gonna change the opacity to 100. And then you can go to 25 frames or even 30. 30 might actually be better and bring that down to zero. So it's just flashing. So now we want this to loop. So what we can do is press Alt on our keyboard and hold that stopwatch. And then we can go to that arrow key and then it'll bring up a bunch of panels and we can go to property and then press this loop out, not the one that says duration, it just says loop out. So now we have created an an expression and it's basically just gonna keep flashing and yeah it's kind of animated so it'll keep looping okay now what we're gonna do is we want to make three of them but you can make even more I'm just making three for now so you can press command D on our keyboard twice so we have three layers okay so for our second layer we're just gonna drag it to the right so that it goes right next to it and then on our third one we're also gonna drag it so now we just have three arrows but if you watch it back, they're all flashing at the same time, so we're gonna need to offset this. So for our second layer, we're just gonna make it go like two frames to the right, and then on our third one, we're gonna make it go like four frames to the right. So it'll just flash nicely. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just hold shift and hold the three text layers, and then we can right click to pre-compose this. We're just gonna go to pre-compose, and then we can just name it arrows. You can name it whatever you want. If we just go back to our composition, it just turned all the three arrows into one sequence. So it'll be easier to work with when we wanna put it on our clip. Okay, so, so this is just a simple way of creating the arrows, but once you wanna put it on your clip, you can go to layer and then create a new camera, and we're just gonna keep it at 35 millimeter. And then we're gonna change the arrows and press that cube box so we have a 3D layer now. And then we can just scale it down to the size that we want it to scale. I just want it on the road. And because we made a 3D camera, we can use a rotating tool so that it kinda looks like it's attached to the ground. So you can mess around with that or you could press R on your keyboard and adjust the rotation manually like this. And then you can also command D to duplicate it if you want and then create more arrows. You can have a bunch of arrows. So yeah, you can mess around with this effect. It's super cool. And then if you wanted to adjust the colors and stuff, you can always go back to your arrows composition and then you can add fill and you can change the color to any color you want. So you can make all the arrows different colors and make it look all fancy and stuff. And you can also search up glow and effects and presets and put that on your arrows. And you can go to the glow threshold and you can bring that to 100. And then you can play around with the radius and just add different effects on your arrows. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.